A nonprofit organization in the Valley is on a mission to find dogs for vets. Cronkite News reporter Jackie Padilla went to Chandler to see how service is taking on a new meaning. The American Service Animal Society trains dogs to help veterans who face challenges after their time in the service. And I found out a helping paw goes a long way. At that time, I didn't think I needed a service dog. Uh, I thought it was mighty and I could do everything on my own. Barbara Jetter says she has diabetes and little nutmeg is able to detect when her blood sugar is running low. I've learned that she's smarter than I am, that she is more in tune. She knows me better than I know myself. The dogs are trained to do numerous tasks like open doors, open, stay alert in what could be distracting environments, and even call 911. It's like having a nurse on duty though, 24 hours of the day. Coast Guard veteran James Falskin says in the service he learned the importance of sacrifice and to honor those who walk beside him. She's my squad now, but this is it, me and her. There is not a whole lot out there that we can't face together, but I'd take a bullet for her anytime. The nonprofit organization co-hosts Woofstock, an event it says brings veterans and the public together. We have vendors, every doggy activity that you can wish to see is going to be demonstrated. And to pay tribute to those who served, everyone is invited to take the walk of honor. There are going to be signs where people have purchased to honor their loved ones, their pets, display their business, as well as giving, you know, honor back to the veterans. Falskin hopes this event helps Good fellow job. veterans understand Good the job. benefits of owning a service animal. You build a bond with a, your dog and you walk out the door, uh, a whole lot stronger than what you did when you walked in. Wolfstock is this Saturday at Tumbleweed Park in Chandler from 9 a.m. to 1.30. Admission is free and the American Service Animal Society will be accepting donations to help provide training sessions for veterans and their dogs. In the Broadcast Center, Jackie Padilla, Cronkite News.